tonight from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month of change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, they come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. the first carry for Kenyon Drake. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. A trip to the red zone. First and 10 right at the 20. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. He hit pay dirt so many times we almost lost track. Every time we turned around, he was in the end zone. And those weren't all just one-yard plunges either, partner. I mean, he ripped up a few long jaunts as well. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They got the ball in great field position after the fumble, but this defense trying to stand tall. They certainly are, and a lot of times after you pick up the fumble or get an interception, you have momentum on your side. You kind of walk through a defense and score. Not so fast, not in this case. This is caught. And he is in to the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. throw again. Murray trying to force it to Hopkins and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick and he's able to take this one back to the 36 yard line. And Brandon this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out okay where is he going with the football because you can make an educated guess defensively not all the time but sometimes and when you're right you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and it's second down. 
Looking to throw. Prescott. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, the intended target. And it's third down. Incomplete. He was defended by Patrick Peterson. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 and a first down. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense, humming here in the early going. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. He was defended by Patrick Peterson. This is Elliott. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now Kyler Murray ready to get back under center. And he'll look to rebound from the earth. Williams loses the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players? Nope. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards So just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. They'll start with the option. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Out of the gun. Here's Murray. He gets it into the hands of Larry Fitzgerald. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. He catches so many balls, sometimes we may take him for granted. We're not taking that last one for granted. He's now at 1,400 career receptions. I'm trying to break this down to something I can actually comprehend. Okay, if you have one season of 100 catches, that's an incredible achievement, right? Yes. How about the equivalent of 14 seasons of 100 catches? Absolutely sensational. down Drake and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four good job there keeping him to a short gain of course he's coming off a really terrific performance reigning NFC defensive player of the week and I know people get caught up in what well, you're the reigning defensive player of the week you must
must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 36 yards on the play. You can feel the effort all the way up here. He tried his best to get there. Didn't quite make it, but down around the two, three yard line. Gotta love the effort, and especially the big play that gave his offense a great opportunity. They'll try and pound it in with Drake. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kenyon Drake, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals get a bit closer. Well, since we don't have a rooting interest in this one, neither one of us wanted to see this one get out of hand too early. Here we are in the first quarter. That was an important response for them to score already down 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here in the week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. They are because one of the adages in the NFL is that defense travels and defense endures even in bad weather, right? You know what else does? A good running game. And people want that, especially as you head down the stretch. You may play outdoors and some nasty stuff. You're trying to get to the playoffs. This is the time to get it going. And individually, I don't think you should just think about a thousand yards. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, Murray. And incomplete on the deep ball. The pro bowler, DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But now it'll be third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but they put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop. A man down on the return. We'll check on his status when we get back. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. And he's going to get this deep on to Arizona's side of the field. A big play there on the catch and run. 74 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available. 
and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Prescott rolling to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. So a quarterback scramble, certainly a pass play, but he saw something, tucked it, and got in the end zone. A lot of quarterbacks, when they scramble, they're scrambling to create more time to throw the ball downfield. In this situation, as you noted, he tucked it and took off. Great play by him. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. The football going back over to Arizona now. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you... Williams loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Cooper was the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. They'll run with Elliott. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. A six-yard gain brings up third and goal. Throwing. Prescott to the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. And this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. And it's a fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. These defenses have become so opportunistic, and no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. I certainly do, because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get down the field, but someone's always coming up trying to break it the ball and knock it free. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys add on. So he's in for his third score of the game. And the defense probably saying, man, we, we don't want to see this guy for a long time. It's bad enough when anyone scores a touchdown against you, but for one person to get three, it almost sets him apart from the rest of the game, and no one likes to see any of those players on a pedestal, not from the defensive point of view. This will make it into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. 
DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the Arizona offense about set to take over. A chance maybe here for them to get him more involved. They're down here on the scoreboard, and he's been very quiet. And the silence has been deafening for his team. They don't need that at all. They need fireworks. They need explosive plays. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get in the ball. We'll see if they can do it. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Murray going to run play action with Drake and look to throw it. Murray fighting, lost the football, and the Cowboys have recovered. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Zerline, the kickoff for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Now this will make it into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. On second and seven, Murray on the slant complete to Hopkins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, throw left side complete. It's Drake. Now Drake loses the football. Well, this hasn't been their cleanest first half of football. Last thing they wanted to do was give it up to the opposition, but able to keep it as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, tough first half, no doubt about it. But if they turn it over there, now things turn a little, how would you say it, dire? Mm -hmm. And they didn't need that hassle at all. So being able to take Williams loses the football. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. All day. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return Don't touchdown by the Cowboys. This first half has been a nightmare for that offense. Defense just dominating them. When you're picking up the ball, picking up their mistakes, and taking it the other way and putting it in the end zone, that's a defense's dream. They're having that type of a game. Everything that can go wrong has gone wrong for this offensive unit. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Now this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. The football going back over to Arizona now. And they weren't on the sidelines for long. But I'll tell you what, I'm glad you and I weren't down there. We could hear them, <laughs> the coaches from all the way up here. They were adamant you've got to hold on to the football or else we have no. And Murray in trouble here. And down he goes. Jalen Smith. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. How nice. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Wow. 
to wipe out the INT roughing the passer. What a disaster. An absolute disaster, and you hope their lockers are not right next to each other for the post game. Safe to say one is not buying the other dinner. Murray, you give. This is Drake. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. On second down, it's Drake. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut it down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. That's to his running back, complete. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. So a solid punt, but also a nice return there of 14 yards. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his own well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. At the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Prescott. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns. Adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness and he's chipping away at their confidence. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Elliott, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott way to a historic performance four first half touchdowns and this offense continues to pour it on and the route is on here in this first half the drive summary that time five plays and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott now after the touchdown it's Zerline he'll kick it away This will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And with still more than a minute to go in the half, time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. And his kick is good. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
And this will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray caught left side, Hopkins. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Shotgun now for Murray. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And five brings up second and five. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And he'll go underneath here to Drake. And he loses the football a second time. And the Cowboys have recovered. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Here's Prescott. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. Go, go, go. A gain there of 21 yards. Looks to throw on first. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will do it. We now proceed to the start of the second half. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a rout. And this carries into the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. So here are the Cowboys to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Well, that last one makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. He'll fire this deep for Gallup. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will make it into the end zone. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. 
How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. yard line. On second down now, it's Drake. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, there's someone who's running the football with a big smile on his face, and that's Kenyon Drake. Because you remember last year, he was in Miami, wasn't getting many carries, not a lot of success, but in midseason, ended up in Arizona and became a huge win. Williams loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Byron Murphy, the one who got a hand in to knock it away. Here now is second and ten, again from the 41. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and ten. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back in the 45-yard line. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. When I watch Chandler Jones play for the Arizona Cardinals, I actually get a little bit jealous because he does his job as well as anyone in the league. He's played 60. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. Recover it by the receiving team. And that's what friends are for. Right? <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. They'll contain him to just four, second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, the passing windows are just not there. and That's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Throwing is Murray on third down. He's got a man. It's Williams. Williams loses the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the third. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out of bounds. Saved him from a turnover. And now a big play to start off this drive as the shot downfield is complete. Touchdown, Cardinals! Christian Kirk, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cardinals are able to make things a bit more respectable. Well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Out comes Michael Gallup and company as they take the field. A monster game so far, third quarter. He is lighting up the stat sheet. And so many times when you see these types of games, you hear about the quarterback, or we 
talk about the quarterback throwing guys open, putting it in the right spot. How about some credit for the receivers, though? Absolutely. Who find ways to get open, whether they uncover late in a route, or they get open early, but they just always find a way. And he's having that type of a game. Yeah, he's been nearly impossible to cover. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. This offense number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in their run game got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. Three yards the game there, second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And he is finally out of bounds, just shy of the five, all the way down at the six. A big play here for Dallas. 54 yards. The last drive he threw the pick, but he's not shy. He's going downfield again there. And you can't be, because if you back off after throwing an interception, your whole game plan just goes right out the window, and it makes things easier for a defense. And you and I both know, there's a quarterback in this league that's any good, that doesn't throw an interception occasionally, and they usually bounce back in a big way. I've seen guys throw five and still find a way to win the game in the end. They'll try again with Elliott. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. And Zerline's kick is good. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that's the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. And this will be a touchback. No return from Isabella. The football going back over to Arizona now. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drives exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. 25-yard line. Throwing on second down, Murray steps away to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the tuck and run. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So I don't know. I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Brings up second and four. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 26. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Back now in Arlington. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Murray now on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Sean Lee, the linebacker, able to get a hand in and coverage. Charles, this one not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. And what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win. Right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. I got you. I got you. 
Now Murray again. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. DeAndre Hopkins, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cardinals claw one back. That's a whole lot of points still to be down. But congratulations, they're still fighting, and they scored another touchdown. My old high school coach used to say, Charles, he said, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you wish you never had shown up. <laughs> Could have saved the gas money, the hotel, <laughs> what have you, huh? Now Pollard. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. This is our time. Our time. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive as they try to finish things off in this fourth quarter and that current five-game win streak looking like it's going to go to six. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It's a game of five. Again, it's Elliott. He's at the 30, 10, touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 73 yards. And this offense is running away with this one. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Here's Murray from midfield. His throw incomplete. Another incomplete pass there. What do you take from this game offensively? Well, you know it's tough to really analyze for him because it is a team game, right? And let's be honest, though. The defense did him no favors in this one at all. Offense actually moved the ball. So, bottom line, film session, defense is going to be a real tough one for him. Offense, they'll get a little bit of praise. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. The Cowboys take over first and ten at their own. Amari Cooper and the Cowboys set to take over once again. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. They want to give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards. That's a really big game. 39 yards, the distance covered on the catch and run. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup, 40 yards. As his guys continue to pour it on. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful in this one. And if I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm done with this, right? I have no answers for anything. In fact, I'd probably send a note to the clock operator. Let it run. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. 
Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. A nice catch there by Christian Kirk. Had 709 yards and three touchdowns in the 2019 season. I expect those numbers to continue to climb. This is a guy who can play in the slot. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Gardner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Him six yards and sets them up for the first and goal. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Out of the gun is Elliott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Cowboys use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left, and their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time, because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him, but how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Didn't work. And the ball is knocked out. Murray's pass complete to Larry Fitzgerald. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting position. Oh, they've intercepted Murray for the third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, Gardner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. They're looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence? And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the podcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. 
had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. And he'll be out right at the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. 13 yards. First down, Cardinals. From the gun, Murray. Dancing to his left. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And the Cowboys have recovered. The big foul. Showtime and today, that man. might just submit it. A return for a late Two touchdown. Zerline now for the PAT. This one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poor. And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. And the Cowboys have recovered. seen this before and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time catch the ball you know there's going to be some traffic somewhere they've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield and that's going to wind up incomplete however we do have a flag down let's check in with our referee trying to cover cooper there a little too closely and it's such a tough cover because he runs his route so well Hard to stay with him and hard to figure out exactly where the break points are. And in this case, he created another pass interference call. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And they'll wind up getting this with all the way down inside the 20. He got 29 yards that time. Continuing to keep their foot on the gas. And it looks like they're just having fun out there. They're loose, they're free, and they're enjoying what the scoreboard looks like. I'd have to say I agree with you totally. They're having a blast out there all game long when they throw the football. They're picking up nice chunks of real estate, significant yardage on just about every throw that they make. And there's another one there. And they continue to have that fun that you just talked about. Throwing here, Prescott sliding out of the pocket. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So they went to the booth to see if that was a touchdown, and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. Six points off the... And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Well, partner, when a team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation, because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is... You stop us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The football going back over to Arizona now. 
They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. But this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Murray fighting, lost the football. But I think a Cardinal was able to gain possession, yes. So they will hold on to the ball. 